Does your group outdoor training program pay enough attention to strength, or is it mostly a series of cardio workouts? Is it even possible to increase strength without access to heavy weights? Visit most outdoor training groups and you will experience lots of running, jumping, high repetition, low resistance exercises that train every energy pathway. Now, boot camps can be both exhausting and exhilarating at the same time. Almost everyone who starts an outdoor training program attains some element of weight loss, which is one reason why boot camps or outdoor fitness groups have become so popular recently. But this bias towards endurance and aerobic conditioning means that strength development is sometimes overlooked. Too much cardio will deplete muscle mass and actually leads to a loss in strength. In fact, if you have a client who is at a plateau with their weight loss goals right now, consider whether or not they've actually been losing fat or losing muscle. The skills alone will not tell you. We know for a fact that building muscle via strength training is key to kickstarting our metabolism and eliminating hard to shift stubborn body fat. So with a little bit of knowledge, we can improve our bootcamp programs to include a good balance of strength training too. No more weight loss plateaus. And one thing I repeatedly hear on the subject of outdoor fitness is that the logistics of transporting enough heavy metal to the park or beach makes strength training practically impossible. And the assumption is that the only way to become strong is to lift weights. And this is simply not true. So I thought I'd put out six ways in which you can utilize bodyweight exercises to start building muscle and shredding body fat. Because fundamentally, strength gains are made by doing exercises that recruit a maximum amount of muscle for a low amount of reps and a high amount of resistance. The challenge for outdoor trainers is how to make bodyweight exercises hard enough so that it's only possible to do a low amount of reps. So tip number one, choose compound multi-joint exercises. The body is one unit and is designed to move as such. Isolating muscles is not natural and not really an effective way to train anyway. Good examples of this would be squats, push-ups and pull-ups. I consider calf raises, tricep extensions and bicep curls useless exercises because they do not replicate real life tasks and they only use or recruit a fractional amount of muscle. Tip number two, increase the range of motion. This requires using more muscle fiber and be sure to incorporate some mobility drills beforehand to get the most benefit. Being able to move through a greater range will also have athletic benefits that transfer to any sport and will help you to avoid injury. Number three, increase the leverage. Generally this means elevating the feet, hanging from bars or trees or straightening or extending the limbs to put the body into a mechanically disadvantaged position. Number four, tense your muscles for harder and for longer. And studies have proven that increased time under tension promotes gains in strength and also muscle growth. So slow down movements, pause at the sticking point or start the exercise in the down position to eliminate the momentum. Number five, Make the exercise unilateral. How many people can do a perfect form pistol squat? Or how about a one-arm pull-up? Or how many one-arm handstand push-ups can you do? These exercises demand an insane amount of strength. And working on nothing but these three feats would take most of us a lifetime to attain. Number six, add in stability. This will recruit smaller joint stabilizing muscles and plays a huge part in rehabilitating and preventing injuries. Balancing training also gives the nervous system a real challenge. And think of how you might alter the big compound exercises to incorporate medicine balls and suspension training systems. So omitting strength training from your group fitness program will deplete muscle and eventually lead to weight loss plateaus in your clients. You don't need access to heavy weightlifting equipment and uh, this is not a limiting factor in building muscle and improving strength. Most bootcamp exercises can be made significantly more demanding by applying one or more of these six basic tips. Now, if you're an outdoor personal trainer and you're interested in delivering great workouts that will attract and retrain more clients, then you should look at joining our community. You'll get access to hundreds of bootcamp workouts, videos that show you how to grow your group training business, as well as support and advice from like-minded personal trainers. Hundreds of successful personal trainers have already joined and are realizing that they can make more money and train more people while working less hours. So join today and I'll see you inside.